muscle car fans welcome to the muscle car modeler my name is Ral and this week I'm going to feature my build here and this is one I just finished it's uh, my 70 Hemi Cuda convertible and it's my second one and you've seen the build of this one um, went pretty quick because it's pretty easy conversion with the parts that I had uh, built up really easily and this one was built from the Nash Bridges 1971 Hemi Cuda convertible that monogram Ravel issued so pretty easy conversion but some of the parts were uh, resin and they're really old when it came to the 1970 Hemi Cuda the convertible option really didn't go very well um, pretty expensive car it wasn't faster than the coupe it was a little heavier and a little more body twist and it was just a just a pricey car so they didn't really sell well matter of fact there were only 1470 Hemi Cuda convertibles produced for the US I believe there was another three or four export models. I have a list of the U.S. cars and what colors they came in, but um, they, they didn't come in this one. Matter of fact, there were three in violet cars, two with black interiors, one with uh, the white and black interior. Then there were three more black velvet cars, one with black interior, one with blue interior, and one with saddle tan. There were a couple of lemon twist ones, which I almost did this one in. So there were two lemon twist 70s one with black interior, one with saddle tan. Then there were two Alpine white cars, one with red interior, one with black interior. Then a couple of Rally Reds, um, red with red interior, which was the first one, and I built that one. And I'll show that to you briefly. And another red with black interior. Then there was Ivy Green Metallic, which is a dark green metallic and green interior. Um, that's not what this one is, of course. And then the last US one was Vitamin C Orange with black interior, which uh, that's striking. And I thought about doing that one, but but I had seen this one, which I showed you in my build that I seen this one. This one's actually a clone. It has a 528 in it, and I believe a five speed if I remember right. But um, this was at one of the auctions, and I'd found it online um, years ago when I started this build, and I just had to to replicate that color combo. Now I, I decided not to do the rubber enduro front bumper and rear bumper only because my other two convertibles have the painted bumpers and when I do the group shot towards the end I'll, I'll show them all together I really thought that was just a striking color combo now this I painted it I used testers paint um, which they don't make anymore the model master paint I used sublime um, green which that's Dodge's name for it in Plymouth it was limelight um, which is a lighter of the two greens not to be confused with green go and sassy grass green Dodge called it green go Plymouth called it sassy grass green that was a shade darker than this one this one is uh, the Dodge name is sublime but the Plymouth name is limelight which is what I painted here but I think it looks awesome with the black shaker the black interior the black um, Hemi hockey stick stripes and then the, the back black tail panel so really love this combo so decided that uh, once I showed you the red one and you guys got me excited about uh, maybe I should finish this one so got it going and it was pretty easy build to do especially with uh, the mods that, that had to be done but um, you can go back to my videos and see those where I changed out the tail I just cut the openings out put the resin ones in there and you can see them right there after being detail painted and uh, just put a license plate on there and the decal right here and decided no wing on this one I didn't do any real polishing in the paint but that's the real automotive clear there's the black interior and all of that wood is painted the dash is not the kit dash that's a, a rally pack cluster a resin one and then uh, Fred Katie hockey stick stripes and they come really close to the body line here but uh, they don't go over it so it's just hard to get but you can see in the, the shine um, that they're pretty close to the edge but they don't go up over the edge but they get really close to the boot here which I wasn't um, planning for or paying a whole lot of attention to and then foiled filled in the vents here changed out the grill and I drilled these out and put the headlight lenses in there and the um, driving lamps, which all Cudas got, not Barracudas, but all Cudas and AAR Cudas got these. So they should have them unless the owner removed them. But I put the chrome bumper on, did the 
turn signal amber on the turn signal lenses that are you know some people don't even know they're actually up there on the underside of the grill and then put a little bit of foil on there and then this is a balance panel is one that resin that I had made this is resin from MPB detail products it's actually a resin copy of theirs because I had I had a few of them but I made a mold and copied a few more but there's the shaker and then I removed the Plymouth emblem off the corner here left the turn signals on there which I was back and forth on taking them off or leaving them on and then the last thing I did was I added the rocker moldings from the newer Revell um, CUDA kit the 125th and they're just a tad on the short side but I decided to leave it because I didn't want to cut splice two together just to add basically one more pleat in it so and then the underside came out really nice which most of this is right from the kit there's the Hemi and the four speed I did change out the Dana 60 for the eight and three quarter that is provided but only the automatics had the eight and three quarter and then the exhaust tips which I had a little bit of issue with this not wanting to fit and just shifting on me but um, and then I filled in the tunnel right here with the epoxy putty so it closed it all out and just uh, some nice detail painting and I put some black detailer in the vents right there and then when it comes to the motor let's get this open here there's the Hemi Cuda shaker it's got the decal on the side which Revell provided those and there's the engine with the simple detail they don't give you a whole lot here but what they give you is pretty nice and I like it just to strip the chrome off of the valve covers and the carburetors and the alternator and detail those out a bit and uh, just paint in the appropriate semi-gloss black which these would be black wrinkle and then did the booster and master which I kind of like them in steel some were steel some were black and then the decals that are provided and I really like how the headlights came out on this one drilling them out and then there's my painted wheels which I did a nice little how to on, on those for you as I've had a few of you ask how I do that so I, I shared that with you so if you haven't seen that yet check that out but this is this is looking really good and I had a few fitment issues with this one where I had to oval the air cleaner and get it to move over a little bit I don't know why it just seemed like the chassis didn't want to sit in the right spot but uh, let's back this out here and then you know, so there's that one and then I showed you my 71 Nash Bridges one so you've seen the video on that one but like I mentioned the Endura front bumper and then the other Hemi Cuda convertible 70 that I did here there's the red one the red on red and uh, she came out nice and you can see the difference in the grills between one with the clear lenses and one without because that's pretty much the same grill after drilling them out so <laughs> Here we go, and really pleased with how they came out. But uh, this one's you know painted with the orange, and then that's the turn signal orange. But um, just a difference between you know how I did it 15 years ago or so when I built this one versus you know today, and then the rocker moldings here, which those are multiple pieces from a, a louvered hood from a street rod ride resin cast them. So and you can see there's there's seams. So after going through that and then using these ones, which fit really nicely, I'm really happy with the way they came out. And then I stripped the chrome off and painted them still with the argent silver like I did the grill. A little bit of an argent silver there. But really happy with, with those. So there's my trio of uh, uh, Hemi Cuda convertibles there. And then on these, while I had them apart, I did do, because I mentioned in my videos, that the carburetors were chrome. So I pulled the carburetors off and put uh, gold paint on them and uh, aluminum on the alternator. Just kind of making it match that one. But ended up doing both of them. And then the tan distributors. Got to have the tan distributor caps if it's a true Mopar. Which is fun to say that Mopar is a term of endearment or a nickname when it's Chrysler Corporation is what it technically was back then. And Mopar was only the parts division. 
and not even the performance parts. The performance parts were um, Mopar Direct Connection. So they were in the Direct Connection catalog so that you knew you were getting them direct from uh, Chrysler Corporation. So it's kind of funny, you know, think about, you know, we all say Mopar and Mopars, but we don't say Formoco when it comes to Fords. Most people don't. But that's really just the parts branches uh, of the divisions. So in Mopar, if you don't know, that's actually short for motor parts. But anyway, you know, me being a big Mopar fan and everything, it's just a little bit of trivia that, that actually is for motor parts. But uh, she's she's looking really good and really happy with the way this one came out. So I hope you guys like it and you guys enjoyed the video and watching me build that one, even though it was kind of a, a quick build. Um, there really wasn't a whole lot of conversion necessary to actually make this. But it would be interesting to see if Ravel actually makes a convertible version of the new 125th scale or if somebody cuts the roof off and makes a, a convertible boot that, that goes along with that because that would be kind of a pretty easy conversion. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing and all your comments. I really appreciate it. And you guys, you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next Saturday.